Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you see, you know who we're going to talk about. <laughs> i just tell you. Todd Tucker... Little Tim Todd Talk is what we call him over here. Okay, we call him the man. He got the the MVP. He was the most valuable player on last night's episode. Whoo, child. And we had Candy talking about she worldwide. <laughs> she had went back on the Joker. She had spread her back and her chest poking out. My baby, I'm worldwide. <laughs> Yeah, we got her husband soloing in, finishing Marlo off, <laughs> or polishing her off, I should say. He said, you were thirsty, huh? You were, you were a little dry. <laughs> Ooh, but Marlo opened them can of worms. Yes, she did, Lord. She opened them can of worms, and Todd brought a whoop ass on her. Whoop ass without even touching her. I like that's right, Todd. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. G get her in her place, okay? You ain't threatening her. You ain't being aggressive. You just talking in a nice mellow tone, telling her, baby, you wanted to be a part of the women group. You wanted to. You were salivating at the chance of getting a position on that um you no know, with the women of the real housewives of Atlanta at that time. Because she sure was being filmed like she was a, a, a full-time peach holder. But Todd had to bring her back to reality. Baby, she said, you just the hell. <laughs> he said, you the hell. No, he ain't saying y'all. But that's how I viewed it. <laughs> Todd said, you were just a little dry. <laughs> you were just a little dry. He did that like nice nasty shade. If you don't believe me, I got the audio Y'all take a listen here. Y'all just take a listen. I do have a question. Who did I pay to get in the circle? How much I paid? <clears throat> so remember, I used to work behind the scenes, right? Yeah. In your earlier Thursday years. We went to Africa. You were I little... all my Birkins and stuff. No, you was a little dehydrated at the time. <laughs> your, I was? Thirst, your thirst was elevated. Okay, well, I'm not going to argue and... with no man. I'll talk no, no, about I'm, that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm I just know, paying the <laughs> 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 Get it, get it, uh, get it. You asked him. Oh, yeah. You asked, asked me, so I got to tell you. He's, tell, he's answering the question. Remember, I work production, so you paid to go on the trip. You paid for your flight. You paid everything to get there. You paid all your expenses. Yeah. And at the time, you really wanted to be around these women. You, you, it was thirst, but... Did you know that? Okay. It, 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 was, it was a little thirst, but come on. Look at you now. You're good. That. I did not pay for my room and stuff. No, hey, I, yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't pay for my room and stuff. I don't even remember that. You paid that for bit. your plane ticket. So, okay, train, so I, yeah. was, I paid for a uh, ticket. So, yeah, I was. was Look at Andy okay. trying to help okay. him out. Let's do that again. Who did I pay again. to get in the circle? How much I paid? <clears throat> so, remember, I used to work behind the scenes, right? Yeah. In your earlier Thursday years, we went to Africa. You were I little, did all my Birkins and stuff. No, you was a little dehydrated at the time. I your was? Thirst, your thirst was elevated. Okay, well, I'm not going to argue and, with no man. I'll talk no, no, about I'm, I'm that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just painting the picture. Shady, I'm painting the picture. 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 Around these women, you you it was thirst, but did you know that? Okay. It, it, was, it was a I little thirst, but come on, look at you I now, you're good. That. I did. Did I pay for my room and stuff? No, I, hey, yeah, yeah I, no, I didn't. I didn't pay for my room and stuff. I don't even remember that. You paid that for your plane ticket. So okay, train, so I yeah. was I paid for a uh, ticket. So yeah, I was. Thirsty it was a little thirsty. Okay. 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 All right. Thirsty. Okay. okay. I do have a question. <laughs> and it couldn't even get her. She. <laughs> And he couldn't do that. Was sitting there and bow his head. I said, "Yeah, you don't open up a can of whoop ass." <laughs> and Todd served it up without any bread. 
or anything to wash it down with. Oh, I mean, Marlo's face was priceless when she, when he pulled out the receipts, and he, she know he wasn't lying, and uh, Andy could not defute it either, honey. He could not rebuke it. He could not refute it. It was just is what it was is, okay? And Candy was just, she was chuckling. She had her head down. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, I would have had my head up high, and I would have been grinning like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> I was like, get her, baby. Get her, baby. Because she opened up the door. She wanted you. She specifically asked for you to come to the door. <laughs> And instead of you stepping out on the porch fighting with her, you invited her in and gave her her thirst. <laughs> gave her some water to quench her thirst. Because, yes, yes, she wanted to be around the ladies. She wanted to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because I'm telling you, they must be paying over there. Because Todd and Candace said it, and uh, Marlo admitted to it, that um, she they were trying to get her her own fashion type show. And I guess uh, they were putting the budget together and they was going to say, well, you're going to be making this much and we need you to do this, that, and the third. And you thought about that shit. You're like, wait a minute now, hold up now. I ain't going to have nobody. You know, you you just playing devil's advocate in your head. And you're like, uh-uh, they ain't paying. They ain't paying enough for me to come over there and do that and, and um have my own little show and I'm just going to get pennies on the dollar. Nah, I just stay here and worry everybody that I can get to listen to me to let me be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hey, uh, Marlo know what was going on. She knew what was going on. And maybe at that time, Nene may have divulged uh, what she could be making. And uh, she was like, damn, I ain't going to get that. See, that's a waste of time. You wasted Candy and Todd's time trying to trying to get you something, develop you something on your own. And, and you know, people will be coming checking you out. You will be the star. But I don't know how much affiliation that Todd and Candy was going to get off Bar's commission with setting you up. That could have been another factor. You know what I'm saying? Because Todd and Candy all about that money. I mean, they'll give you an opportunity. And they'll talk to the big people to let you have some. They're going to break off a chunk of chunk, chunk of whatever you were going to be making, too. So uh, I'm pretty sure it was not like a gift where they would give you like, yeah, let her be on the show. And there's going to be no uh, retainer's fee uh, coming to Candy or Todd. Nah, I don't think so. You ain't, they don't love you that much, okay? Everybody got to be making money. But honey, <laughs> baby, <laughs> Todd said, girl, you had elevated your thirst. I Meaning you had went from Bell trying to be with the champagne. <laughs> He said, it's going to cost you, baby. It's going to cost you. Oh, Lord, that was, too, that was hella funny. I just had to break it down to y'all. I know I talked about it in the Real House uh, Wives of Atlanta reunion part three, but I had to come back and let y'all get the meat and potatoes. Y'all didn't need no bread. Y'all get that meat and potatoes, okay? And y'all be w very well fed and be get oh, we call it, um, Giggling, cackling, and uh, smiling like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> Cause Todd Tucker put it in perspective for us. He broke it down. All right, he broke it down from one, two, three, A, B, C, and it was undisputed. Could nobody refute it? And he was on point. I like that. that now that's what I'm talking about. Todd, you saved the show. <laughs> You say the show last night because I sure was trying to get to that remote and click that shit off because your wife and the rest of the women cast wasn't doing shit. You had to have a man come out and say Real Housewives of Atlanta. Woo, because I said I, went, mm -mm, I was not going to say shit because it gave me nothing but shit. Part one, part two, and ending with part three. I will listen next time when Kenya twirls to the station. When she twirls to the channel and tell us ahead of time it was mild, you can best believe it. <laughs> I'm going to take heed of what she said. I ain't watching shit. Listen to the candy ad. She was talking about, oh, it was good. It's going to be fireworks. Where, where was the fireworks candy? Where was it? Because the only thing I saw was, uh, we got them bang sparkles. <laughs> That you're holding your hand, you light a match, and it just be sizzling everywhere, mostly white or clear. Well, not clear, but white. And I was like, G girl, you didn't even give us, uh, you gave us half a sparkle. You didn't give us shit. I like, the season was better than the uh, reunion. I'm like, God, dog. 
Woo, Lord. But I got to go now. I just want y'all to hear that little clippy clip to show and put things in perspective of how Todd Tucker got Marlo Hampton together without even using a cuss word, without even raising his voice, without even it seemingly he got upset. No, he was cool, calm, and collected, and he put her ass in check. Okay, checkmate. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.